All right, so next up on our bubble watch list, we're going to be discussing the Indiana Hoosiers. A big win over Michigan State today, putting them at 18 and 13. They haven't updated their record yet. And 10 and 10 in the conference, kind of elevating them to bubble consideration. I don't think they're in right now, but they are at least in the conversation now with that win today. They're kind of they're getting hot at the right time. All right, they've won four in a row now. And if they can go on a run in the Big Ten tournament, they might be on to something here uh, if they can win a game or two or three. But let's go ahead and look at their schedule a little bit. Uh, you've got a 20-point loss to UConn. Now, UConn is a one seed, so losing about 20 to them, I guess, is okay. I'll allow it for that one. So that's a good loss, at least. Uh, you've got some wins over some okay teams. They don't have too many good wins, so I think that might hurt them in the long run, but they do have good losses. Uh, you've got a big loss to Auburn. All right, so Auburn's another tournament team that's going to be in the you know top four seeds, probably. Kansas, single-digit loss there. That's a good loss to a team that's also going to be in a top four seed. So they haven't lost anybody that we've seen so far that's bad. Uh, you've got a win over Moorhead State. That's a tournament team now. Uh, is that a good win? I don't know. You know, only one about one, but it's at least a tournament win. You got a loss to Nebraska. Now, the problem with them is they get blown out a lot. <laughs> okay, you got, you got losses by 20 already, losses about 30, now lost by 16 to Nebraska. Nebraska is a tournament team. They beat Ohio State. That's going to come into play if we get to comparing them and Ohio State as far as for a bubble spot for that last four in. You've got also a big loss here to Purdue. Like I said, they just get blown out a lot. All right, 21-point loss to Purdue, but that's also to a one seed. So you got a loss to Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a tournament team, but they're not headed in the right direction, so they could find themselves on the bubble by the end. Uh, you've got an eight-point loss to Illinois. Illinois, another top four seed, so that's not a bad loss by any means. You've got a win over Iowa. That could come into play in bubble season as well as far as comparing resumes with another bubble team. Now, for some reason, they can't beat Penn State. That one I don't understand, but they've got two losses to Penn State. Another one over Ohio State, so they have swept Ohio State. That's good for them because uh, Ohio State's also on the bubble, like I said. Another 20-point loss to Purdue. Then uh, a four-point loss to Northwestern. That's a tournament team. 15-point lo loss to Nebraska. And then for some reason, like I said, they can't beat Penn State. Now, the good news for them is they split with Wisconsin. So when comparing resumes, it's not that bad, okay, because they at least split with them. But like I said, the main problem with them is they just get blown out all the freaking time. Uh, multiple 20-point losses here, which is not good uh, for Indiana. Now, they are getting right uh, hot at the right time, like I said, so that's going to benefit them. If they can somehow go on a run in the Big Ten tournament, get to 20 wins, you know, we might have something to say here. If you end up being, what, 20 and 14, you know, something like that, depending on what else goes down, depending on who wins other conferences that could op open up bubble spots. Currently, I think I have six bubble spots at the moment that are not locked in. Uh, so it is possible that, you know, there could be more by the end of the week. So Indiana is creeping back into that conversation right now. I don't think they're even in the next four out or the last four out. I think they've still got some work to do. But if they can win a couple games in the Big Ten tournament, I think they might have a legitimate shot at somehow sneaking in the tournament, but we'll see. What do you think in Indiana? Are they an NCAA tournament team? Do you have them in your last four in? Are they even under consideration on the bubble? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.